Hayes with Standard Supply today. I'm going to talk to you about performing routine maintenance and a little bit of service on an indoor wall mount Mitsubishi unit. First thing you're going to want to do is do a physical inspection of the filters and also the drain pan and the blower wheel. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and take the cover up, pull your filter out, check it for cleanliness. These can be either washed or vacuumed and they could last you up to 10 years. The next thing you want to do is take a look down in the drain pan of the unit and see how dirty the drain pan is to see if it needs to be cleaned. Next thing you want to do is do an inspection of the coil to see if it needs to be cleaned. And also, you want to do a physical inspection of the blower wheel as well, too. These are all looking fairly clean. You can use a little bit of cleaner on your coil and depending on the cleanliness of your blower wheel you may or may not have to pull it out or you could just use a brush to clean it off here as well. After you perform those tasks you want to go ahead and bring your meter along with you as well. This is a field piece SC57 we carry here at Standard Supply. And you want to go ahead and check to see if you're getting proper voltage on your indoor unit as well too. We're going to set this to AC voltage first. And we're going to check across S1 and S2 at the indoor unit to see what our voltage is. Looks like we're getting 205 for AC voltage across S1 and S2. These systems have a specific voltage range which they operate within, which would be 197 volts AC through 100, 253 volts AC. So we're within our acceptable range. Next thing we want to test is we want to change our field piece SC57 over to DC voltage. And we're going to be checking for a pulsating DC signal across S2 and S3. Let's go ahead and check that. Now if you're checking out your meter, you're going to get somewhere in between 12 and 24 volts DC. And it's going to jump around on you. And that would be normal. But what you're looking for is to make sure you're somewhere between 12 and 24 volts. That way you know you're getting a proper signal from your outdoor unit to your indoor unit. And those are the routine things that you should check and service on an indoor Mitsubishi Walmart unit.